elevation file a ship supported beam of 3.6 meter length is to be loaded by three concentrated loads p at every quarter point the yield strength of the steel is 345 megapascal and the steel shape used is w460 by 60. the beam is laterally braced only at the supports so these are the properties of the beam and then for the first question which of the following most nearly gives the limiting length? This is the limiting length for the limit state of yielding. Okay, so we have a criteria that if the average length of the beam is less than L sub P, the lateral torsional backing will not apply. So that is the importance of L sub P. So it is used to determine whether what kind of lateral torsional backing will govern. Okay. So let us compute first for the L sub B. So the formula for L sub B is 1.76 R sub Y square root of E over F Y. Where R sub Y is the regions of gyration of the section with respect to Y axis. Okay, so let us substitute 1.76 R Y is 32.8 times the square root of E over F1. Okay, so let us compute. L sub P is 1389.926905 millimeters. So in meters, that is 1.39. And that is letter B. Next problem, which of the following most nearly gives the limiting length L sub R? Let us complete the criteria for lateral torsional backing. So if L sub B is less than L sub P, this means that LTB does not apply. If L sub B is greater than L sub P, but less than or equal to L sub R, so we have an inelastic lateral torsional backing. And then if L sub B is greater than L sub R, we have an elastic lateral torsional backling. This is the importance of L sub R. So it is used as a basis for the limit state of inelastic lateral torsional backling. Okay? If L sub B exceeds L sub R, our torsional backling is elastic lateral torsional backling. Okay, so let us solve for L sub R. What is LR? Let us read L sub R, the limiting and brace length for the limit state of inelastic lateral torsional backing. So here's the formula for L sub R. So in order to compute this, so let us compute this one by one because there are two plenty of characters that will be input in the calculator. So Let's solve this one by one. Okay, so first let's solve for 1.95 R sub T S E over 0.7 F sub Y. So let us solve for this one. 1.95 R T S is 40.1. E is 200,000 over 0.7 F Y. We have 64757.76398. Okay, so we can store this to A. So later on, it's easy to call out the values. So let us store this to A. So shift, store A. Next is JC over SXH. So we can store this to B. So according to the problem, J is 508 times 10 cube. And then the value of T is 1.0 if the section is doubly symmetric I shape. S of X is 1290 times 10 cube. And then HO is 444. Okay? So let us go for this one. This is 127 over... 143190. We start this to B. 
Let's add six point seventy six point seven FY over E squared. So let us store this to C. 6.76, 0 0.7, 345 over 100,000. So we store this to see. 9.856460.25 times 10 raised to negative 6. Okay, so we can now compute L sub R. So based on the formula, that is A. So take note, the first part, we store that to A. JC over FXH, we store this to B. So we have square root of B plus square root of B squared. And then for the last expression, we store that to C. So therefore, we can now compute for L sub R. We have A square root of B plus the square root of b squared plus c. Okay, so LR is 4171.381102 millimeter. That is 4.17 meters. The answer is letter C. Number three, which of the following modes nearly give the value of C sub b neglect the weight of the b? So by the way, C sub b is the moment gradient factor, or in other words, that is the lateral torsional buckling modification factor, C sub b, for non-uniform moment diagram. Okay? When both ends of the segment are raised. So this is the formula for C sub b, and then the moments that you are seeing, m max, m a, m b, and m c, they are the moments that can be solved within the beam. Okay, so for this problem, we have a simply supported beam that is subjected to concentrated loads P at the quarter points. Okay, and take note that the lateral base or lateral supports are located only at the supports. Okay, so this is the these are the locations of the lateral supports. Okay, so meaning, the meaning of these moments are the moments at the quarter points. So meaning, if we're going to create the moment diagram of this one. So the moments at the quarter points of this beam corresponds to MA, MB, and MC. Let us first draw the shear moment diagram before we determine the values of this MAB. C and M max, okay? So, as we can see, the loads are symmetrically placed in the beam. So, they are located at the quarter point. So, let us say the length of the beam is L. So, this distance is L over 4, L over, L over 4, L over 4, and L over 4. Since the loads are symmetrically placed in the beam, the loads will be equally distributed within the reaction. So, meaning... If the total load is 1, 2, 3 P, so the reaction in the left and right support will be 1.5 P. So that is simply 3 over 2. No? So we just divided the total loads by 2. Okay, so let us draw the shear diagram. So from here, so it will become 1.5 P. Then we do not have any loads. In actual, there should be a uniform distributed load here. But according to the problem, we will neglect the weight of the beam in calculating C sub B. So this is 1.5 P. So in this point, my, there is a concentrated load P, so we will subtract. So this will become 0.5 P. This is now 0.5 P. And then there is a concentrated load at the mid span, so this becomes negative 0.5 P. And then no load, so it becomes negative 0.5p, and then we have here another concentrated load, so negative 0.5 minus 1, it will become negative 1.5p, and then since there is a reaction of 1.5p, so therefore the square value goes to 0, okay? 
So it's time for us to draw the moment diagram. So in creating the moment diagram, so we solve for the area of the shear diagram. We start with zero. And then the area of this rectangle, that is 1.5p times L over 4. So that is 1.5 times L over 4. So that is 3 over 8. PL. And then we have we will have a linear graph because the degree of the shear diagram is zero. So we have 3 over 8 PL. So we have here another area of the shear diagram. 0.5 times L over 4. So from 3, 8, we will add 0.5 times L over 4. Our moment becomes PL over 2. Okay? And then obviously this will be symmetrical. This will be 3.8 PL and then finally it will close to zero. As you can see, the moment diagram is symmetrical because the loads are symmetrically placed within the bit. So that is why. Okay? So what do we mean by M A, M B, and M C? M sub A is the moment at the first quarter point of the unbraced segment. So if this is the Location of the lateral support, this is the unbraced segment. So therefore, this point is our first quarter point. And the moment at the first quarter point, that is M sub A. Okay? M sub B is the moment at the second quarter point of the unbraced segment. And then M sub C is the moment at the third quarter point of the unbraced segment. So these, these are now the values of M, A, B, and C. Okay? And then M max is the maximum moment within the unbraced segment. So as we can see, the maximum moment is also equal to M sub B. So therefore, we have M max is PL over 2. It does not happen all the time that M sub B is equal to M max. So we really have to solve, okay? So since we already have the values of the moments, we can now calculate the moment gradient factor or the lateral torsional buckling modification factor. So that is 12.5 times M max, which is PL over 2, divided by 2.5 M max, which is PL over 2, plus 3MA, which is 3 over 8 PL, plus 4MB, PL over 2, plus 3 times MC, 3 over 8 PL. So we can now solve for C sub B. So we have 25 over 22. Okay? So in decimal, that is 1.136. That is letter C.